Hey, Wagwan. Yeah, man, it's Mr. Garfield here, and I'm back with another Cape Integrated Mathematics question. All right, I'm going to be doing some differentiation questions here. Okay, and this is for module three, which is calculus. All right, and here it says we are to differentiate the following with respect to x. If I took these questions from the specimen paper in your syllabus, all right, so we're going to look at how to differentiate these functions here with respect to x. Part one, we have to differentiate y equals e to the power of 3x divided by 5x plus sine x, right? Now, if you look at that, let us start with that question there. So we're doing part one, solution. Now, what rule would you apply to that function there if you're differentiating? All right, hopefully you'd have said the quotient rule. All right, once you have a function in the form y equals u divided by v, all right, a form of a quotient, then you know that you can use the quotient rule, right? And what does the quotient rule say? All right, it says that if I have d by dx of u over v, then that equals v du by dx minus u dv by dx, okay? And you divide all of that by the denominator squared, so that's v squared, okay? So that is the rule that we'll be applying to that function here in the first question, all right? So I can say that dy by dx is going to be equal to v, V is the term in the denominator, all right? So that's going to be 5x plus sine x, all right? Multiplied by d by dx, all right? The, the derivative of u with respect to x. u is the term in the numerator. So that is e to the power of 3x minus u, all right? u is e to the power of 3x multiplied by dv by dx, right? The derivative of v with respect to x. v is the term in the denominator plus 5x plus sine x, right? Great. So that is what we have. But remember now that we have to divide all of that by the denominator squared, right? Let's do that. So we're dividing all of this by v squared, so that's going to be 5x plus sine x all squared, right? 5x plus sine x all squared. Great. So now that we have that, let us just simplify our work in here. All right, so dy by dx is equal to, if I differentiate e to the power of 3x, remember now that you differentiate the power and then multiply by e to the same power. So if you differentiate 3x, all right, which is the power, you get 3, and you multiply that by e to the power of 3x, all right? So let me do a recall right here. Yes, let me do a recall right here. So if you have d by dx of e to the power kx, where k is some real number, then that is going to be equal to k, right? So you differentiate the power kx, you get the constant k multiplied by e to the same power. So you multiply by e to the kx, right? That's basically the rule that I applied there. So if you're differentiating e to the power of 3x, that's 3e to the power of 3x, right? Great. And then remember now on the outside that we had the 5x plus sine x being multiplied by it. All right, minus, we have e to the power of 3x multiplied by the derivative of 5x plus sine x. Now, if we differentiate 5x, we get five, right? Plus, when you differentiate sine x, what would you get? When you differentiate sine x, you get cos x, all right? Great, so that is the derivative of 5x plus sine x. And we are now dividing all of this we're dividing all of this now by the denominator squared, that's 5x plus sine x. Okay, 
Now, you could leave it like that, or you could recognize the fact that e to the power of 3x is right here, and e to the power of 3x is also here. So it means that I can factor out an e to the power of 3x. All right? And if I factor out an e to the power of 3x, in brackets remaining, I'm going to have the 3 that is left, which is multiplied by the 5x plus sine x. All right? And then the minus in front, multiplied by the 5 plus cos x. OK? So that is the factored form of numerator. And I'm dividing all of that. Yeah, sorry about that. So that is a factored form of the numerator. And I'm dividing all of that by the denominator squared plus 5x plus sine x all squared. OK, and that is our dy by dx. All right, and that is our answer. Great. Now let us move on to the second part of the question. So the first part of the question is now completed. Let's do the second part, which is y equals 4x squared minus the ln of a half. ln of x raised to the power of a half. All right, let's write that down. This is part two solution here. All right, so part two solution. We're given y is equal to 4x minus 4x squared, sorry, minus the ln of x raised to the power of a half. All right, great. Now, how would you differentiate this function here with respect to x? Some of you might say substitution, right? So you could let u be equal to the function there in the brackets, all right, which is the 4x squared minus the ln of x. Okay, and using a chain rule, you, you could find the derivative of, of the function y, right? But I'm not going to take that approach because if, if you know this formula, all right, things would be much simpler for you. If you know the rule, differentiation has a lot of rules, so you have to remember them. So let me just put a recall here. If you have d by dx of a function of x raised to a real number power n, then that is going to be equal to what? They carry down the power n, multiply by the function f of x, decrease the power n by 1, so that's n minus 1, and then you multiply by the derivative of the function inside the brackets. So you, you differentiate f of x, so you get f prime x. All right? Good. So if you know that, things will be much simpler for you. All right? So applying this rule, I can say that dy by dx is going to be equal to, I can carry down the power, a half, multiply by the function 4x squared minus ln of x, decrease the power by 1, so that's a half minus 1, and you multiply by the derivative, so you multiply by d by dx of the function inside the brackets, so that's 4x squared minus the ln of x. Great. Let us now simplify our answer here. All right. Going to simplify our answer here. This is going to be equal to a half multiplied by 4x squared minus the ln of x. A half minus 1 is a negative a half, okay? And I'm multiplying by the derivative of 4x squared minus ln x. Now, if I differentiate 4x squared, you carry down the power, multiply by the 4 and decrease the power by 1. So 4 times 2, that's 8. Multiply by x, decrease the power 2 by 1, so you get x to the power of 1. Right, but you know, we don't really write the one there as a power. Minus, if you differentiate ln of x, you get one over x. Right, that's, that's some, simple, some simple things, <laughs> simple things that you must know, right, in differentiation. Great. Now, you could leave your answer like that, all right, or you could write it as this. I can multiply the one here, all right, I can multiply the one by this function here, right? So I will have 8x minus a half, minus one over x, sorry, in the numerator, okay? In the numerator there. And what will I have now in the denominator? Well, remember that from your laws of indices, if you have, a, if you have some function, 
let's say f of x, all right? If you have some function, let's say f of x, and you raise it to a negative power n, all right? Then you can write it as one divided by the function raised to the power n, right? So you just change it from negative to positive, okay? So in the same way, I can say that 4x squared minus ln x raised to the power of negative a half. This is the negative n that we're talking about, right? I can write it as one, one over the function, right? Which is, f of, which is 4x squared minus ln of x raised to the power of n, n there is a half, all right? So I can say that 4x squared, I can have 4x squared minus the ln of x, all right? And I change the power from negative to positive, okay? Now remember that we have the two here as well in the denominator, right? So I'm gonna have my two in front. So I hope that was understood, okay? So that is our answer to this question, all right? This is our dy by dx, all right? So I hope that this video was helpful for you, okay? And if it was, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel, all right? And all the best on your integrated mathematics exam on Monday, okay? I thank you for joining.